Just give you a couple more tips in case your effects aren't working the way you want to. You might not be aware of certain things on this board. I'm going to help you uh, perhaps understand why the effect's not working the way you want it to. So let's look at a real, uh, another very common effect is some kind of squeeze back. Happens all the time. There is a uh, pitfall in this board that you've got to be aware of. Once you know about it, you're cool. Um, which is as such. Let me call up, I already built this effect. Uh, this effect squeezes, let's put an image in there once again. All right, I'm going to just run this locally. This guy squeezes back, reveals some Chiron, pauses, and it comes full. If you were to build this effect without being aware of something called a hold, every time, and I remember this happened to me actually, just remember this, it was on a Sony, and uh, it was probably about 12 years ago, and it would have been helpful if I had known this. It's funny how that, all right, so it's this hold. I feel like I'm teaching myself, oh, if I could go in a time machine, this would be very helpful, because that was really pissing me off. All right. It's this hold. This hold button, when it's lit, you can either light it up manually or you can program it. Uh, let's go quickly to the menu here. It's located completely uh, non intuitively, if that's a word. You go to the EMM section where you would be saving and loading up effects. It's just over to the right here. Source holds. If you look here, ME3, key one, it's lit. Well, that's the whole ball game right there. I'll show you what would happen if it wasn't lit, right? If I call up this effect in this main area here, if that hold is not programmed in, and I'm going to take it out right now, Just click on that, modify. Rewind it. Let's say now this effect. All right. Now this effect has been built without a hold in it. So as long as you're using only this fella right here, oh, what happened? You got directors screaming. What? 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 What's that doing there? What? 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 What's going on? The reason why is. Each keyframe is remembering whatever happened to be there when I built it. So if I think I'm fixing that by going, I'll put still A, I'm going to modify all, I should be good now. Well, I should say I am good if I modify and run this from the master EMM section. But often something like this, I'll run locally, which is fine if it's the same source. But what happens if the director says to you that day, oh yeah, put a, put Put uh, CNN, you know, feed in there or, or whatever feed in there. And you do that. Looks good. They tell you to squeeze it back. Ho! Oh, this guy pops in again. You can't figure out what the hell's going on. Excuse my, uh, my French. What's going on is that uh, when you build the effect, it's very literal. It remembers what was there the first time. And it doesn't like for that to be overridden. So you have to tell it, hey. Whatever I put in it at the time, go with it. Uh, <laughs> the way you tell it that is you have a hold on. If you can't get into the menu for whatever reason or you forget where it is, it's kind of nice. You can, on the Sony, they call it cross point disable. On the grass, they call it a hold. You can tell one was probably designed consulting actual technical directors instead of engineers. I'll let you guess which one that is. Hit hold. Now, in a pinch, let's bring this effect full, pick that uh, feed again from Atlanta, let's run it back. So in a pinch, you can overwrite what's going on. When you build the effect, if you have the time, you want to remember, go back in there and uh, put your hold on. So let's do that so I don't bag somebody else in the future. And now, now we're good. It's got the hold built in. So that's one, uh, shall we say, uh, tripwire you got to watch out for.